The moment we have all been waiting for is here. Shall we say it 
together, Danny. We should say it together. We should say it together. Let's create a little suspense first. Filipino community from Australia. Province. 
Danilo y los City. Laguna! Caetanizal! Chirino! Palawan! Filipino community from the United Kingdom! Pulacan! Zambales Filipino community from Australia Pulacan Zambales Caintanizal Filipino community from the United Kingdom Has on province. Fuck or city. Baguio City! Ilo Ilo City! Ladies and gentlemen, Philippines, your top 10. And one of them will be our new Miss Universe Philippines. We started with 38 delegates and now we are down to 10 and the competition is getting tougher and tougher every minute.
know she's a beauty queen Been that way since 17 I think I fell in love with that little black dress Hoping I could take the rest out, yeah, yeah begins with Pula Khan Zambales have just completed the evening gown round and now it's time to find out who will move on to our top five. Ooh. That means, sadly, yes. five more of these accomplished women will be heading home and the first one is on this list in my hands. The first delegate advancing to the top five is... The Geek! Christy McGarry! Joining her is... Bakaor City. 
Victoria Velasquez Vinson. We are down to the last spot, Maria. Every one of these women have made their crowd, but only one will move on. And the last woman advancing is... Secretary Lila De Lima. Hi there. Number 19, Christy. Good evening. Yes. What would you tell a child who longs for her OFW mother? Something that I would tell a child who longs for their OFW mother is that whatever she is doing overseas is for the benefit of their own good, that she loves them very, very, very much, and she sacrificed a lot for her, him or her, and one day she will be in their arms again and everything will be all right. Thank you. Okay. Or City. It's your turn. Come on over and select a name. Thank you. You have selected Janelle Comision. In your journey to be Miss Universe Philippines, what has been the most inspiring part and why? Especially during the pandemic, people have risen to overcome everything that they've gone through. And I'm someone, I've been incredibly privileged and I haven't had to 
go through that many issues in my life, but meeting so many people who have had so many battles and hearing their stories and hearing how they overcame them, that's what inspires me. That's what inspires me to continue to help the Filipinos in the way that I know how, which is through my advocacy, through architecture and heritage conservation. Thank you. All right, all right, we're going strong here. All right, Ilo, Ilo City! It's your time to come on down. Hello, Alexi. Hello, everyone. Good evening. I memorize ko na talaga pangalan mo dahil ako sa Thank you. So this is your final question, okay? I will repeat it once to make sure that you heard it clearly. Okay. As a Ilonga with heartfelt beauty, what message would you send to the Ilongas from the past? Once again, as an Ilonga with heartfelt beauty, what message would you send to the Ilongas from the past? Thank you so much for this question. As an Ilonga with a heartfelt beauty, I think one thing that I'm proud of is ever since from the past, we've always kept the spirit of Dinagang. We've always kept the spirit of Pagpalanga. And the food that we had, that we are selective, is a creative city in gastronomy. It is the reason why this was from our past, that we preserve it and we deliver it to two right now. And one thing that I also want to say is, I want women to move forward. Abansi Vubai. This is something that comes from my heart. I want to empower women. I want to educate and to advocate women from the past and right now that women can be so much more, that we're capable of so much more. Abansi Vubai. My name is Alexi Meka Imoso Brooks, and my heart will always be in Ilo Ilo City. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Kazan Province. If you are up, please come over and choose your selection committee member. You chose... Ms. Diane Castillo. What new things do you think that you have to offer that you feel are you know, right for Lewis University? I feel like I'm a lot stronger now. I can handle a lot more things in a better way. I also feel like being an entrepreneur has helped me in being able to utilize my skills. Mm -hmm. And moreover, being able to see the potential that the Miss Universe Philippines platform has. Thank you. Okay, we are down to the last question of this round. Please come on up and choose your selection committee member. Thank you. You have chosen number two, Mr. Joshua Garcia. Hello. Good evening. Magandang gabi. Magandang gabi po. Okay, here's your question. Personally, how do you distinguish a historian from a marites? A historian is one who recognizes our painful past with factual evidence. Looking back at our rich, vibrant history and as well at the times when our humanity was trampled on and our heritage was almost erased. If we look at our past, we can surely move onward and upward and rebuild, rise from this pandemic and dream for a safer, healthier and happier Philippines. Thank you very much. Woo, Nicole, that concludes our question and answer round. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is not easy feat for these empowered women to stand up here under the eyes of thousands and answer with such great and admirable composure. That's right, sis, especially with the pressure of the game-changing element of this round. We've seen how all of their rigorous trainings have worked for our candidates now that they've laid all of their cards on the table. We are officially concluding this year's rounds of competition and the judges will now begin their deliberation, which is honestly the hardest job tonight.
May the phenomenal and transformational woman win. Here we go. Our fourth runner-up is... Runner up is Penta Rizal. Our Miss Universe. Philippines second runner up is Bacoor City. And only one of you will be crowned Miss Universe Philippines. The new Miss Universe Philippines will be crowned with the La Mer and Majesty crown from Jewel Mare. Adorned in Golden South Sea Pearls, evoking the glory of a national treasure. The moment of truth. The name we will announce is our new Miss Universe Philippines. The first runner-up will take her place. Miss, Miss Universe Philippines is... Congratulations to our new set of Miss Universe Philippines Queens. This is CN Lim. And I am Tim Yap. Congratulations to the new and the um, women for the men and women behind Miss Universe Philippines organization. Thank you for joining us tonight and hanging out with us at the Smiley Apparel Lounge. This has been Maureen Montang. Thank you so much, Philippines, for the very warm welcome. I will be back for sure. And thank you for the love. I am Zozi Tunzi. And this has been Alden Richards. Thank you for joining us in this year's Miss Universe Philippines, the coronation. Have a good night, everyone. God bless you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>